today. I hope that you are still enjoying and maintain your enthusiasm while studying at home. We are now on the second quarter of this school year. In this quarter, we will explore about living things and their environment. And our first topic is the main function of the major organs of human body. Are you ready to explore? Do you have your first module in this quarter entitled A Well-Organized Human Body? Okay, if all are set and ready, come on, let's start our learning adventure. At the end of this video lesson, you are expected to describe the main functions of major organs and communicate that the major organs work together to make the body functions properly. Okay, but before we go on to our lesson today, let's have a quick review. Class, humans have five sense organs that works together to help us know what is going on around us. We have eyes to see, ears to hear, nose to smell, tongue to taste, and the skin to feel. Now, you will identify the five sense organs by writing the names on the blank. Sensory system for taste. Sensory system for hearing. Sensory system for vision. Sensory system for smell. Sensory system for touch. Plus, what do you think happened to the air as you breathe in? Why do you hear the beating sound in your chest and the rumbling sound in your tummy when you are hungry? Where does the food that you eat go? Why can you understand the questions that we are reading right now? What is there in your body? Inside your body are organs with specific roles that contribute to their overall well-being. An organ cannot work alone. The organ work together to keep your body healthy. Let us now see how well organized the internal organs are by performing activity number one, brain teasers. Every second letter in the box are the beginning letters that forms the name of the internal organ being described. Color them yellow to reveal the answer. Number 1. It is a muscular organ that is located a little to the left of the middle of your chest. It pumps the blood to all parts of your body to provide it with oxygen and nutrients it needs to function. Can you guess the answer? Very good! Heart! Number 2. These two bean-shaped organs that filter the blood and remove liquid waste in the form of urine and keep the right level of salt and minerals in the body. Do you know what internal organ is it? Great! That is kidney! Number 3 It is found in the head and protected by the skull 
It controls balance and coordination and regulates breathing, heartbeat, and blood pressure. It also allows us to think and have memories and feelings. What is it? Wow! Excellent! Rain! It is a pair of spongy air-filled organs located on either side of chest. They filter and purify air that gets into our body and remove carbon dioxide. Do you know the answer? That's right! Lungs! For the last one, number 5. It is a large organ that sits on the right side of the abdomen. It helps clean the blood, produces bile to digest fats, and stores energy in the form of sugar. Can you guess the answer? Excellent! That is liver. For activity 1B, Write the name of the internal organs in the empty rectangles below the pictures. Then, write their functions in the arrow boxes under the bridge. Choose the answer flashed on the computer monitor. As we can see, the first picture is stomach. And the function of stomach is to receive the food from the esophagus digest, mixes, and churns the food into thin liquid. The next picture is small intestine. And the function of small intestines is to absorb nutrients and minerals from the food that we eat. The third picture is bone. And the function of bone is shapes our body holds the body upright, produces new blood cells, and protects the internal organs. The fourth picture is the large intestine. It stores and removes waste materials, called phases. The last one is muscle. It enables our body to move, give shape and form to our body. Activity 3 Life Size Body Model Materials needed Manila paper, permanent marker, crayons, scissors, and tape. If Manila paper is not available, you can use any light colored cartolina or six or more pieces of bond paper based on a length of your size. Lie down on the paper and ask someone to trace the outline of your body with permanent marker or black crayons. Draw internal organs such as intestines, stomach, liver, lungs, heart, and brain. Draw and label the organs. For human body model 2, get a clear plastic cover with the same size as the paper used in human body model 1. You may use old plastic cover or sandbags 
clear sandbags available at home. Place the plastic sheet on top of model 1. Draw the bone as shown in figure 2. Bones and muscles work together to support and move the body. The bones serve to protect the body's organs, hold the body upright, and shape the body. The muscles are attached to the bones. They keep the bones in place and pull them allowing body movement. Let us now proceed to activity number 3. Simple paper bag lungs. Materials needed in this activity Two paper bags of the same size Two paper straw, masking tape, and pentel pen Label the paper bag with right lung and left lung Draw bronchioles and alveoli on paper lungs using pentel pen or black crayon. Open the bag and insert the paper straw. Gather the top of the bag around the straw and tape tightly. Cross the straw and tape them together. Blow air in and out the paper bag through paper straw. Observe what happened to paper bags as you blow air in and out through the paper straw. Lungs filter the air that gets into our body and removes carbon dioxide. Air flows into the lungs into the tiny tubes called bronchio bronchioles. Located at the tip of the bronchioles are air sacs called alveoli. These air sacs are surrounded by blood vessels where the exchange of gases or respiration take place. Lungs are two spongy organs protected by the ribcage. They filter the air that gets into our body and removes carbon dioxide. Air flows into the lungs and into the tiny tubes called bronchioli. Located at the tip of the bronchioli are the air sacs called alveoli. These air sacs are surrounded by blood vessels where the exchange of gases or respiration take place. As you breathe in, the air fills the lungs and makes them bigger just like the paper box. The lungs go back to their normal position as you breathe out. The heart is the muscular organ located between the lungs. The heart pumps the blood carrying oxygen and nutrients along tubes called blood vessels around the body. The lungs and the heart work together to deliver oxygen to the different parts of the body and removes carbon dioxide as a waste product. Without them, the body will not receive the oxygen in order to grow, produce energy, and to do its everyday function. To check your understanding, match the internal organ in column B with the work they do to keep our body healthy in column A. Write the letter of your answer. Number 1. Digest, excess, and turns the food into a thin liquid. 2. Filter the air that we inhale and exhales carbon dioxide. 3. Controls our thoughts, memories, speech, and balance. 4. Pumps blood to deliver oxygen and nutrients to all parts of the body. 5. 
filter liquid waste in the body in the form of urine. 6. Cleans the blood and stores energy. 7. Organs that give shapes and enables our body to move. 8. Holds the body upright and produces new blood cells. 9. Organs responsible for the supply of oxygen and nutrients. And number 10. Absorb the nutrients from the food that we eat. Now, compare your answer. Do you get all the numbers right? Very good! I know you are now ready to answer the post test. Reflection should be reflected on your ISN. Create your own comic strip. Choose the character icons and speech bubble that you like and draw them in the frame provided. Write a dialogue to express how major organs work together to make the body function properly. That's all for today, kids. I hope you have learned something new and enjoyed. Bye!